Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This time I'm redoing my how to rig a hand or weight paint a hand because people didn't understand the short form video quite well because it was too fast. So I will be redoing that. So let's just get into the video. We already have the bones and the mesh. So we want to parent the mesh to the rig. So in order to do that, so you select the mesh and then rig while holding shift. Then we hold control and then press P. This will do set parent to, and then we click empty groups here. Now um, deselect everything. Just click or your select button off of the rig and mesh. Then select the rig, then the mesh, and then press control and tab and go into weight paint mode. So my trick was you select the bone and then you press tab and then there are the vertex groups here. And when you assign something, I'll just do a quick uh, example. When you assign a mesh to a vertex group, it will weight paint it. So I will undo that so I can tell you how I did that. Okay. So with the bone selected, you press tab to enter edit mode and swap from white paint to edit mode. You want to select this loop around here, the finger. So while holding alt, you select near one of the edges of the loop around the, the finger that you want to select. So hold alt, then right click near the edge or whatever your select button is. And press control plus on your number pad um if you don't have a number pad pressing control plus will zoom in control minus will zoom out so if you don't have a number pad you want to go to edit and preferences and in input you click emulate number pad and that will fix that for you so you can use the plus and minus by the backspace button instead so plus and minus plus minus plus we'll select more then click assign then we want to do that again so we go back into weight paint mode with tab select the next bone hit tab again hold alt right click this to select this loop or select button control plus assign Select, tab, alt, right click, select, control plus, assign, tab, select, tab, select, alt select, I mean, control plus, assign, tab, select, alt select, control plus, control plus, assign, tab, select, tab, alt, select, control plus, assign. Doing everything in real time here. There we go. So now um, everything is rigged. At least these fingers. This The thumb is a little different. So we do these parts like normal. And then for this part, if you have a... I don't know what this part of the thumb bone is called. If you have this, we want to um, go into vertex select mode. Select around here, control plus, deselect, control plus, deselect, deselect. And then control plus one more time. And then it might select some parts that you don't want selected. So we just deselect those using the alt select button, or you can Use the circle tool, which is C, hold shift, and that will deselect it. Shift selects and deselects vertices, faces, or edges. Okay. Now we assign that. Okay, and then uh, let's 
select all of these. Oh yeah, I want to be in face mode, so let's uh, unselect all that. We want to um, wait, paint the hand next, because if we do that, if we just leave all the fingers like that, it'll yeah, it won't work right. It won't move along with the rest of the mesh. So we want to select each of these bones. Select this one, tab, select on the right, tab, select, tab, select. We just want all of these loops selected. And in face mode, make sure you're in face mode. Press hide. Because if you're not in face mode, it will hide including these ver vertices, and we don't want that. So face mode and hide. Uh, now we want to go outside of face mode, because if you have seams, it will only select within the seam. So we we don't want that. So we'll go into either edge, edge mode, or vertex mode to select with L. L, link select, that's how you remember. Now we want to go to the and bone and click assign. And that will rig it for us. Alt H to unhide. Now you have a completely rigged hand already. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below in the comment section. And I will try my best to help you fix your problem. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.